Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video and this one I'm going to show you how to record gameplays of your Steam Deck and one way to do it would be to use something like OBS Studio in which you can use uh, a, screen a screen recorder um, but I'm not going to do that because you need to switch to desktop mode, you need to download OBS Studio, you need to, s you need to set it up and uh, in the end it will also decrease the real performance of your device so for example if you're going to uh, capture uh, a gameplay of a video game and you're going to show the FPS's um, they will probably be less than the, the, the real one you know um, so what we're going to do is actually use a screen capture device uh, you can uh, buy HDMI capture cards uh, very cheap ones for less than 40 bucks and I already have one here, like this, this one. Uh, this is actually from Genki. So this is basically how it would work. You would, you will connect this HDMI input, okay, to the output of your console, uh, maybe like a PlayStation or in this case like a Nintendo Switch. Um, of course, we will need an adapter for our Steam Deck. And then uh, the other end would be something like a USB Type-C or a USB Type-A which you will connect to your PC and you will see the, the gameplay uh, on your PC. Now, the problem with this is that you don't have a way to, to, to see on your monitor or your TV the, the gameplay, okay? And in the case of the, of the Steam Deck, once you connect to was you connect it to a, to a an, an external monitor or external TV, you will not see the display uh, on. Okay, so an alternative would be something like this. Okay, this type of capture cards have uh, like a, a mirror um, option, so you will connect your you will connect your PC via USB three then you will connect your HDMI input and then you will also be able to see your gameplay in real time in other device because this this uh, image could be actually could actually have some sort of delay so you don't actually want to play through your um, through your PC you want to play through an external monitor to have zero delay so this is the device that I actually have it's not it's not good <laughs> I usually have some, some problems uh, trying to record this video. But for now it works and is uh, not very, very expensive uh, compared to uh, something like, like this, okay? Which is 4K60 and maybe something like uh, another uh, Avermedia product like this, which is also 4K60. These PCI Express cards are the best, okay? I, I had one uh, years ago. And they are the best. They offer the best flexibility, but you need a powerful PC. Um, but yeah, the, you have the best quality, basically. Uh, so basically, uh, one of the things that we need in this particular case, or in the this case, is to convert the HDMI to USB Type-C. So we have a few options available. We have like this sort of... Um, converter from HDMI to Type-C. You also have cables like this one, but if you, uh, I didn't get uh, the, the video input correctly on, on, on the ca capture card because it was uh, 4K 60 Hz and maybe it didn't accept that resolution. So in this case, what I'm using is just a simple adapter. Okay, this is just a simple adapter and this cost maybe like 20 euros or something like that or maybe less so the next step would be to connect it so once you connect it you will see that the screen goes off that is good because uh, that means that we actually have an input uh, uh, on the device that we can use to get the video output so in this case i'm using obs studio to get the video feedback. To do that, you press this plus button on the sources 
and you click on video capture device. In this case, I already have it here. And this is one thing that actually happened to me. And if you see this large screen, what you have to do is unplug the, the HDMI output and plug in the, the capture card again. There you go. So as you see, maybe it's the capture card, maybe it's the, the Steam Deck, but sometimes you will see that the resolution is probably not the correct one. And in this case, um, here in OBS Studio, you can configure a lot of the a lot of things about the, the video. Uh, one thing you can choose is to configure the brightness and contrast of your Steam Deck. So if it looks a little bit weird, you can uh, check it here, but usually the default settings are, are good. And then you can also change the resolution and the FPS. Okay, for this particular game, Capture Card, uh, 1080p 30 FPS looks the best. And then it's also very important that you change the video format. Usually you will have MJP, MJPEG available. But this is uh, a, um, a video format that offers compression and we should avoid compression. Because so by using this other format, we can avoid some of the compression and you should also select the audio device. In this case, it's called Mirabox, but you can choose whatever uh, you have. Then click OK and you will have the input available here okay so i'm going to show you right now how it looks so this is how it looks okay as you can see the screen is off but i'm using the steam deck so you can use it as a controller while you are connected to to a tv and in this case it's connected to the game capture card and it could also be connected to the tv okay so um then uh, in in OBS Studio you would uh, tap on click on start recording, but in this case I'm already recording this video, and the the output is basically a 1080p video. Uh, in this case at 30 fps, but depending on the game capture card, you could be higher. So there's another thing that you have to keep in mind. Um, right now we have a 1080p video. But the console is 1280 by 800. So on a lot of videos, you're going to see gameplay with black borders left and right. Okay, and this is because the aspect ratio is just not the same. Um, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have uh, some scaling filters, but I think that these scaling filters, um, I mean, you can see here that FSR is not actually working and FSR what basically does is scale um, uh, games or whatever is on the screen to the native resolution of the console so in this case it's not work it's not on which means that basically it's acting as linear filter okay but you can also choose nearest which on some video games maybe like this one specifically the, it might actually look uh, a little bit sharper but in other games it, it usually doesn't look uh, very nice so you have to you should keep it on linear or uh, FSR okay which will increase a little bit the sharpness uh, in some cases you can show the performance on on your Steam Deck always by tweaking this performance tab Okay, and then you can record maybe a video showing this. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.